Hey guys, okay, so I'm about to do a weave on my hair, and um, this title is going to be my prom edition. Remember, I hit you up, uh, I did a video, my last video I was talking about how I've been so stressed out because my prom was coming up, and um, I didn't know how I should do my hair, and I didn't know whether I should just order Indian hair or uh, regular human hair, but um, I finally know the style that I want. And um, I am glad to say that I did purchase some Indian hair. These are the two. This one is a 16 inch and this one is a um, 14. So um, I ordered them from IndianHairStore.com. Last is elite a year. I don't mind paying 170. I probably spent over 170 this 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 year just on hair weaves. Anyway, so um. Right now, I'm about to start sewing in my process, but before I do, I just wanted to show you guys my uh, braiding process. This time, um, since it was my prom edition, I, you know, I wanted something super, super flat. You know, like you cannot feel it, so it's super flat. So I called my cousin up, and I had her braid my hair. I basically parted what I wanted to leave out, and this is my part that I'm leaving out. And I left my back out. That way I'll be able to put my hair in a ponytail. So I'm going to make this weave as flat as possible. Just because, you know, this is this will be my prom. So I'm first going to start my hair off with the 16 inch. But before I do, I bought this weaving net. Um, I'm going to put it on my whole head and not cut anything just until I finish. So let me just put my hair. Okay, so what I'm going to do just now is uh, put my hair all to the front. Just like this. And put the cap right on top of that. Um, once I'm done, then I will cut it around it. Because if I try to cut it now, since it's, a, since it's um, elastic, it'll just, you know pop right off my head. So that's my reason for not doing it right now. Okay, so we can get started. Um, as always, when I do my sew-ins, I have more than one needle. Needles are curved. Okay, so I'm now getting ready to start sewing in. Um, I basically have the hair wrapped around me just because I'm not going to cut it until I get up to about here. I'm just going to be folded from back forth. So I'm going to turn around, even though it's a little dark, my braids are um, really close together. So I put a bobby pin right here. This is my stopping point. Okay, so I now finished the first row, which was uh, this one. Now what I'm just simply going to do is turn it over just like that. Go right on to my next track. that the net is easier to use just because like I don't have to find a braid you know I can just sew it right on and go right through Now I'm coming up to the end again, and all I'm just going to do is do the same thing, which is flipping it over. Um, I'm not spacing that far apart. I'm basically uh, spacing just like a fingertip apart, just like this. So I'm not spacing that far apart. Okay, so now I'm coming up on my other corner, and I'm just going to do the same exact thing, which is flipping it over and going back to the other side. Now 
now I'm starting to cut the tracks. This hair is not shedding at all. I cut it right here and look, no shedding at all, which is amazing. And I'm, yay, I'm really actually pulling the hair really hard and there's no shedding. So this hair is good quality hair. Okay, it's now 5.40 and um, I'm still on my 16 inch. This is how it's looking. And here's the back. Very, very long. Um, this is how my sides are looking. Just like that. Go to this side. Um, I have about two more tracks to go. <clears throat> Last track, thank goodness my hands are, my arms are like just killing me. Now I'll be right back once I get the net off. Okay, so this is the final product. Um, I love it. I love it. It's so freaking flat and thin. And, and it's full. It's so full. Really full. After, um, once I uh, flat iron my hair at the top and I blended it all up here, I just um, slick my edges back on this side and this side. I used um, Garnier Fructis. It's called Brilliant Shine and it works really well. So you can see my last track was right here. Right there. And it just makes it look even better. So here's my bang. And even though the wisps were thin I have this much left and a couple of the 16 inch left. It's an excellent match to my hair. I cannot believe it like matches this well with my hair color. You know, I never, not even with natural weave. With natural weave, um, I usually get a 1B and my hair is lighter than that. And so I can't get a 2 because a 2, then my hair is too dark. But this one is like, it like blends in perfectly. Perfectly. So I go, I hope you guys like this look. Again, the hair I used was a 16 inch at the bottom. And then once I ran up my 16 inch, I started on my 14 inch. And um, when I got up to my edges, I started to curve them up. That way, when you pull back for your natural hair, which you don't have to leave a lot of your natural hair out, if you do curve them up, because let me show you, let me put back my natural hair. Do you see that? Look how natural it looks. And then you just put your hair in and then it covers it. Um, again, this is my prom edition hair. And that's it. Bye-bye. Uh,